What is up fellow RC addicts, enthusiasts, and just anybody with a general interest in the RC hobby? Today we're just going to be doing a quick little video on changing the pinion gear to the uh, speed gear on the Infraction V2 and we'll also be covering just getting your mesh set as well. So I'm just going to disconnect the wires. Normally you wouldn't need to do this, but I'm just going to try to get a little bit more room for you guys to see what's going on here. Just gonna just be loosening up these two screws. That just loosens up the mount. You can see it slides back and forth. So if you were too tight or too loose, that's how we would just go about just adjusting it. Now to actually take it off, it's pretty easy here. Just go ahead. Goes all the way out. Probably could use the power driver for that, but I'm go ahead and take the motor, slide it all the way out. So now we have a little C clip at the end here. I'm gonna pop that C clip off, and we're gonna rotate the pinion. Of the grub screw is showing. I don't know if I said it yet, but that was a two and a half millimeter screw holding those on. The grub screw, a two millimeter. Just gonna go ahead and loosen that up right now. Don't need to take it all the way out. Just loosen it up. So once we get that grub screw, we're gonna go ahead and try to find the pretty small flathead. And we're gonna go ahead and just, it's kind of hard trying to get this in camera just a little tiny gap in there and go ahead and just pull it okay that's one thing you do have to be careful those things like to go flying luckily I heard it land on the counter over here okay. first time that's ever happened to me I'll go ahead and be right back as soon as I find that Funny enough, it flew over and landed right next to the uh, speed gear we're putting in. So, once you get that out and we have that grub loosened, it should just slide right off. May need to loosen the grub a little bit more, but we're good there. So this is a 15 tooth pinion. 15. And the speed gear we will be replacing it with is a 25 tooth as per most of the uh, motors it's gonna have a flat spot on the shaft you want to make sure that's where the grub screw side is sitting so there's the flat side grub screw side so put that on there just gonna go ahead and slide that over little C clip back on you see that little groove that it's gonna want to slide into so then just Kind of get it started, take the pliers, just kind of squeeze in, click click in, we're in place. You want to rotate, so we have the grub screw on the flat spot, flat. Grub screw from the factory does come with a little, a little tiny dab of blue Loctite, but since we're going to be putting in high speed gear, I'm going to add a little bit of my own on there. This would actually be a good time to make sure the tip is magnetized on the driver bit. Now if I'm going to be doing a lot of screws, I'll go ahead and put the Loctite in a little container and just dip the screws, but since we're only going to be doing the one screw, let's go ahead, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Pretty good. 
Now with the blue Loctite, or any Loctite really, for it to be fully efficient, you want to be able to uh, put it on at least overnight. Ideally you want to give it the full 24 hours to cure. So once you've got that back on, we just slide that back on. It's looking like with the speed gear on there, you can tell up here on the, the screws, we can't go very much farther back out. So, metal and metal, we'll go ahead and put some blue Loctite going into these screws. The screws holding the actual motor mount. A little drip. Remember, you only want to use Loctite when it's metal going into metal. If you're going to be screwing into plastic, you do not want to use the Loctite. Loctite. They do make a special Loctite for that, but you have to make sure you're using the correct kind. Okay. Just getting them started. We're not cinching them down or anything yet. We gotta make sure that the mesh is set correctly. Now, if you're advanced enough in the hobby, you, you'll be able to just kind of tell, or have been doing it long enough, when the mesh is set correctly. You don't want it to be completely tight in there. So this is the mesh set with the 25 tooth pinion speed gear. We're gonna start off slow with it, uh, like we did, and just kind of, I think we may actually start with uh, the motor timing at zero and go all the way up through all the different stages up to the uh what is it 26.25 timing and uh, go through the punch levels and do all that and see what numbers we hit but we'll kind of just go through it together so i mean it's pretty easy especially on this system to set it up all right so that's how you change out the pinion gear on your infraction v2 uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you out as always if there is something that you think would help or be helpful to the viewers go ahead and leave the comment below if not uh, hit the like button if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and do that and as always if you don't do either of those things at least go out and have fun with the rc folks bear down out